The race is on to home hundreds of thousands of battery hens before the end of the year, as a change in European law coming to effect this weekend will make it illegal to keep the birds in small cages. Ashitana has been to meet some of them. These birds are among the last ex-battery hens in the country, all hoping to be rehoused as pets before the new year. On the 1st of January, an EU directive comes into force banning the use of battery cages. It means all British egg producers will have to provide new, larger, enriched cages, and those chickens with nowhere to go will simply be sent to the slaughterhouse. We know a number of people that have got chickens now. We're spreading in the area. We're getting to know more and more people that are getting them. And we've recommended that to a couple of people, haven't we? And they've taken them on as well. Yeah. Let me, I have to ask you, would you ever consider eating one of your chickens? No, I wouldn't. But as long and as you I... don't name them, we'd be fine. So what's the hardest thing about keeping a, a, a hen? Foxes, I suppose. <laughs> Hens are not difficult to look after. You feed them, you water them, keep them shut up. British egg farmers have invested an estimated £400 million to comply with the new regulations. But there are concerns that many EU member states with weaker animal welfare standards haven't, and they'll continue to flout the law. We support the British farmer unconditionally, because if we don't support the British farmer, eggs will be imported from abroad. And we have absolutely no way of regulating the hen welfare there, whereas the British farmer for better or worse, is an infinitely better bet. There you go. The British Hen Welfare Trust has rehoused 300,000 hens with the public in the UK, but the charity says there are still around 4 million likely to end up on the chopping block. All these chickens like this one are ex-battery hens, and each one will have lived in an area the size of an A4 piece of paper, so very, very small. And in those cramped conditions, it means that hens end up picking out each other's feathers. The ban was brought about after decades of lobbying by animal welfare campaigners who fought to outlaw the tiny cages, something British farmers admit will benefit the animals. It's a brilliant system. I've got no doubt from a welfare point of view, it suits the birds. It's a major step forward. So, you know, we've really gone out on a limb to comply and to do this, uh, which we've been happy to do, but, I mean, we can't turn around at this stage and just have the rest of Europe stick two fingers up at us effectively. As commodity prices soar, it's no surprise that people will try to seek out the cheapest option. The government says under EU rules it can't ban battery cage eggs. So if you have to get a battery egg, you may want to think about getting it from a bird that's been kept more humanely, or better still, buy your own hen.